What is up guys, we are back and today we're gonna to be addressing the one issue that this van has always had, and that is the brakes. Been through many renditions over the years with the stock stuff, SRT4, Booster, Master. Switched over to a manual brake setup. I've changed calipers, rotors, brakes, lines, you name it, I've done it. And progressively, it's just always gotten worse each and every time. So today we're gonna to change everything in the braking system, one and done it. Knock this out, I got way too much money and time invested in this van for it to be such a big piece of shit. So, that's where all this is gonna come into play. We got a tilt and pedal set up for this unit. I don't even know if it's gonna fit, if I'm being honest with you. I bought one for the Neon, tried to steal it, but where this is a floor mount, and this is like inverted top mount, they hang like a factory pedal set would. I opted to go this route because of the way the seat and position is in the van. You sit up so high, you're over top of the pedals, and it's just not a natural feeling. So we're gonna go with these. It's gonna be a tight squeeze, especially with the masters towards the firewall, but I felt like I had more room that way than towards me with the steering shaft and all that. So we're gonna be ditching this factory SRT4 pedal set that I cut up modified many moons ago, switching to this inverted tilting hanging setup. Got this fancy reservoir to keep it all looking good. Masters are already on. We got some .7s and a one inch bore. Done some quick bath. That seems to be what I'm going to need for the stock caravan caliper piston size. Switching the disc in the back as well. Nothing wrong with drums. I ain't knocking them, but they fucking suck. As you can see, I already have the pedal set out. I've got the master off, clutch master and brake master. Don't want to crack the lines yet and bleed fluid everywhere. I ain't going to bore y'all with the details though. Will's here today. He's going to help me. We're going to whip up a quick uh, bracket, kind of a brace to mount to the firewall. And the pedals had like two bolts going up as well. So we're gonna try and hit all six holes, even the uh, two for the clutch master, just to brace it up real good so these pedals don't move. And uh, we'll show you what we cook up. All right guys, so this is pretty much what we came up with right here. The goal initially was to keep the masters all contained inside the cabin. Once we got it all assembled, just wasn't possible. So whipped up this quick plate, got all three masters bolted down on there. Go inside here, I get a little wild. Got the pedals all mounted up and things are secure. You can see that bracket right there that we built to attach it. You really can't get any more braced up than that. But now that that's done, had a couple more parts show up. We got the new hubs, backing plates, calipers, rotors, pads, all that. So we're gonna head back here, try and bolt it up. It should, everything should fit. I don't know. It looks like the same bolt patterns. So we're gonna try it. And if so, we're uh, money. Hi y'all, just like that, converted this thing from drum over to disc. Everything was a bolt on, a fair backing plate, drums, calipers, rotors. So if you got a caravan with drum brakes and you're looking to swap it to disc, ain't no thing, just buy you uh, I think this was for a 3338, three, I don't know, don't matter, should all fit. What about brake lines in the rear? Does that bolt on? Oh, I highly doubt that. Yeah. You think it's gonna stop? Oh yeah, for sure. Oh. We're giving this thing more throw than it's ever going to have. I guess. So, other than that, we still got to make lines. Coming from that, I actually have some bulkhead fittings that I'm going to be putting on the firewall to uh, root them back inside the car to this. The thing about getting a little race car with this, a lot of people mount them on the inside of their car on their dash. So, I believe that's what I'm going to do. It kind of just sticks out a little too much if I leave it up there. Not a huge fan and there's really no other place to do it. So, What do you think? Inside, outside? Inside for sure. Right. You already got the fittings. I think it'll look sicker. Cleaner, even. Maybe. Other than that, while we're making all the brake and clutch lines, I picked up this bang shift billy, which is arguably the most technologically advanced clutch slip valve on the market. It's Bluetooth, sends you data right to your phone. We're gonna be installing that. I'm not gonna be doing a review per se on this thing because there's just no way to do it at this time. Once it's running, stopping, driving, we'll take it to the track, set up this, show it how it works, go from there. But if you're a stick shift guy and uh, you got a hydraulic clutch, look into these things. They are pricey, but uh, the price of this thing right here will actually pay for itself by saving your axles, your transmission, yada, yada. A lot easier on everything when you slip in. Aside for the clutch, but I'd rather replace clutch discs annually, maybe even biannually, versus $2,000 axles, five, six thousand dollar transmission. That'd be nice. Oh, I got a <laughs> you got a slipper valve too, dude. 
Yeah, mine's a damn door stop, screen door. It does a job. But it looks like we're gonna wrap up for the night. My lines probably ain't gonna be here for another two days. We're gonna have to make them. I was gonna order some pre-made stuff, but just to keep it as clean as possible, I'm just gonna make them the exact length I need, unfortunately. <laughs> <laughs> really twisted his arm there. All right, so it's like a week later. This has kind of been a lengthy process with holidays and everything, getting all the stuff I ordered in. But we got it going on. You can see the lines. Masters got the bank shift billy mounted up in there. I don't know if we can squeeze it out here, but way up in there, I used some bulkhead fittings, firewall connections. Came out real slick. I ain't gonna lie to you, it was a huge pain in my ass. You can see them right there. Bulkhead fittings coming out the firewall, three lines. I get a little wild on that, and if you see it on the far left. Actually got the uh, reservoir mounted up in here. Turned out pretty slick, I ain't gonna lie. I need to do a little bit of trimming. Could be a little cleaner. But you know, overall, I'm not mad at it. Pull this out right here. Quick tabs. Thing ain't going nowhere, boys. Also thinking about mounting the uh, Bankship Billy clutch controller box right there. Gonna make a plate or something. As for the backs, we got some Banjo Bolt 2 AN line adapters. Gonna be running that to, there's the factory back hard lines right there. I adapted it to a 3 AN as well. So unfortunately the right one there bought the wrong fitting. So right there, which I unfortunately had to place another order again. So that's gonna put me another week behind. I also forgot about my hydro. <sighs> made all the lines for the brakes didn't tee that in but overall i'm pretty happy with the way it's coming out i mean it kind of looks sick ain't gonna lie unfortunately the new lines i had to get that's gonna be long enough to get to the hydro and back ain't poly coated like these black ones which sucks but neither is the clutch line so we'll make it work so my last order hopefully finally showed up we got some more lines the correct fitting for the rear Picked up another tilt master cylinder for the hydro and uh, we're just going to work on putting all this in. So today might actually be the day when I was putting the master cylinder in for my staging brake. I forgot that the feed on it is a 4 a.m. My lines are 3 a.m. So unfortunately I had to order another fitting. They still ain't got here, but I got a buddy that's got a business account with a distributor locally. I had some in stock, so he got them for me. We got them in. We're about to put some fluid in this thing, get it bled. Fingers crossed this thing works. This has been a hell of a process. It is what it is. As long as it works, I'll be happy. So the fluid we're going to be running is the RBF 600 Motul. It is a DOT 4, but the boiling point of this is much higher than your standard DOT 4 brake fluid, which is about 311 on this Prestone. This is over 400. So in the past, I have had brake fade issues after a pass or two at the track where it just got too hot, pedal got spongy, went to the floor. So I'm going to try to avoid that disco around plus in the clutch. A lot of heat with the slipping going to be going on. So overall, you just need a higher boiling point fluid. I think we're going to give it a shot. So let's bust this open, start filling the reservoir up, and uh, start checking for some leaks. Oh, hell far, boys. We about to make a f***ing mess. Oh! Yeah, I don't know what's going on. I can't see the f level or nothing either way i will say this is much more convenient filling it up inside the car because the van hold on one second right here van has a huge ledge this massive overhang so when the master set up in there man you could not fill them up huge pain in my ass so this is awful convenient being able to fill it up in here yeah i mean fluid level looking like it's leveling Got a drop spilled. Looks like we got her topped off. We might have to add a little bit more since we're going to be bleeding it, but you know, I don't see no leaks. Yeah, obviously ain't pump break. We'll see. So on the SRT4 stuff, they don't have a bleeder valve. Um, the new masters don't either. The slave doesn't. So I'm just going to pump this thing. That's kind of how you just got to do it. You just got to keep pumping until it actually bleeds itself. Um, Will ain't here yet, so I don't want to get to cracking bleeders and all that. We're just going to pump the clutch and see if this uh, fluid level goes down any. See if we can get something working here. Oh, damn. We ain't got nothing. Well, it don't seem to be going down, so I'm going to assume it's airlocked. Probably going to have to crack a line. Whew. I'm straight up not having a good time, but it looks like if I pump it, go crack a line next in the system, pump it, tighten it, crack the next joint. I'm having to work my way all the way down to the slave at every fitting just to get the air out and get it moving. Shit sucks, but we got a pedal. 
Oh. It's moving. I don't know if it's enough, but I mean, it's definitely got some travel to it. Maybe. Yeah. I don't know if it'll need a clutch stop right now. I mean, we could probably go ahead and toss a battery in it and start it and see if it'd go in gear. Yeah. But brakes are the main priority. Yeah. yeah. So we started to get a pedal, and all of a sudden, the pedal just wasn't pedaling no more. And we was looking up in here, and the god dang shaft has bent. So I don't know how that happened, but it looked like we're going to have to pull off some kind of operation and uh, try not to spill fluid everywhere. Pull that shaft out. I got another one right here from another master I had for the neon. We're going to see. I don't know. Why the fuck shit been, dude? All right, so we tossed a battery in it. We think we got it bled after uh, changing that damn bent rod. That was a show, but I guess we're going to go ahead. It probably ain't going to start. I ain't got a safety switch on the clutch. See if it cranks. I don't think it will. Yeah. So I'm gonna have to bypass that. Okay, so for the time being, I'm just gonna lay this old pedal set back in here. And uh, I should be able to hold this. See if it'll start. Got to put the exhaust back on. <laughs> God, this thing is a mess, dude. <laughs> so it's in first. Uh, straighten the wheel. All right. Shift. Yeah. Brakes. <laughs> I mean, it done something, I guess. <sighs> Unfortunately, I don't know if y'all can tell by the massive wide out outside. I don't think we're going to be driving this today. I can try it. I don't know if it's getting out this parking lot. <laughs> I don't know if the Vic gonna get out behind you. This damn front wheel drive, bro, she dig. Oh, dig. Got it fired up. It looks like it's stopping uh, in the air anyways. I don't know about its own weight once it's rolling down the road. It's going into gear. I don't think we're gonna be able to drive this thing today. Uh, kinda is unfortunate, but got a little bit of buttoning up to do, like I said. I got two clutch switches to wire in. You got a top and a bottom. Um, one's gonna be your starter interlock deal and then the other's gonna be my two-step and my uh watch shifting stuff don't know how i'm gonna do that yet but we're gonna try and get this buttoned up hopefully the weather clears up and uh, we can drive it all right guys so i hate myself i pretty much always preach buy once cry once but if you look down here you can see that i've adapted these new lines to the factory hard lines at that t union and i think it's a leak point getting a little air in the system pedals feeling a little spongy and overnight it gets a little worse. So Charles convinced me we're gonna do A in line all the way back, what I should have done in the first place. But as you know, the theme of this video, them fittings ain't here and we gotta get this video out. So I'm thinking about getting it down, doing a little test front back, see if we can get it to stop. Unfortunately, it's still snow and ice out here, but I might risk it for the biscuit. Just try and get a driving clip of it. And uh, if it works, it works, you'll see this clip. If not, I'm gonna have to struggle put these new fittings on get all the AN stuff on redo all this And go from there. Unfortunately It's gonna be in the negatives and we got a storm front moving in in about an hour So I don't think I'm gonna have that luxury. So we're gonna try something And hope it's just better than it was I believe in you <laughs> that means. Yeah, I don't know dude 
So I'm gonna go ahead and start this thing up since it's like 10 degrees outside. Get a little coolant temp built up in it. Because last, damn. Because last time this thing was in the snow, it jumped time, bent all the valves. Really hope it don't do that again. Dang. So I'm gonna try and back it out. This is all like hard, hard packed ice and snow. We'll see what it does. Wish I gotta reach over and start this thing again. Oh, I don't know if she's gonna make it, dude. Oh, you're full cut, and it just keep going where the fuck it wanna go. It don't. I'd have been better off backing all the way around. Front wheel drive just got that. Right? Front wheel drive got the bite in it. <laughs> It's gonna take forever to zoom in. It's like a Disney movie out there. This has been the hardest video I think I've ever had to make, dude. It was the hardest one for me to watch you make. <laughs> <laughs> Let's total this thing, yanking it out of here. Oh, we ain't gonna total shit. It just got gentle. It's close enough to a piece of wood. <laughs> oh, fuck it. Man, gotta get a picture. Fucking stuck till spring, dude. Oh, dude, she's. Every vehicle I've ever had. We can't even fucking get anything in the shop now. <laughs> you just damn. <laughs> this, what was that shipping container boat? This is worse than that. Stuck in the Panama Canal. It's the dumb shit I stay doing to make content, making my life so much harder to give y'all enjoyment. Gotta love it. So predictions. We're ripping the tow hook off. But hopefully we can get this damn thing out. Oh, damn. Yeah, 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 yeah. My prediction might have been right. No, she uh, snapped in half. Where's the other half? Who knows, dude? I think could have blew through my back. <laughs> She's You really definitely stuck between a rock and a hard place right now. <laughs> And, uh, you know, the other option would be try to get the front end to come this way, which it can't. 
for whatever reason. This is a funnel to f***ing death over here. Yeah. Straight to Narnia. You know, dude, I've just accepted if she goes, she goes. I'm not piloting that ship. I'm not going down with I it. I I wouldn't either. So Damn. That's a shame, isn't it? <laughs> I guess we're just going to go back it. We're going to tug it to the road. And then I'll do the review of the brakes. Dedication, boys. Okay. What's that song? All right, so I'm going to try and back this thing to the road. Take it down. We ain't going to do nothing crazy. I ain't got the clutch switches hooked up, so I can't watch shift it to nothing like that. It's icy. I'm stupid enough for bringing it out. We're just going to take it down the road. Nice leisure stroll. Try and get it back in the shop. Yeah, I definitely test your brakes because we don't know how the balance bar's set, do we? Not at all, dude. Yeah, okay, yeah, so we just need. <laughs> dude, smart. fixed the one thing wrong with my big turbo SRT4 swap caravan. I fucking hate to say y'all. It was a close one, dude. What do you mean a close one? <laughs> oh yeah, for sure. I was like, damn. I was this close to that pole too. Uh, -huh. <laughs> uh yeah. We're just going this and all. I'm done. It's got brakes. They ain't great. I'm gonna bleed them after I get them new shits. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Mess with the bounce bar, get the switches in, and go from there shouldn't have drove it in this so if y'all like this month-long video trials of tribulation of me putting brakes on this caravan be sure to leave a thumbs up really helps us out in the algorithm we are trying to hit 100,000 subscribers by the end of the year we're gonna wait till this ambulance or cop does its thing godspeed ain't nothing left to say is it? not really until next time peace <laughs>